and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to share with you my whole lipstick collection. So I'll make this short and sweet. I'll flip you around and show you what I own. I'm going to go through, kind of mention things that I love about a certain product, ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to either just straight up throw away because they're so old or put in like a little bin for friends and family to go through. And because I've like used most of these so I don't want to like give them away to people but if I have any that are unopened, maybe I'll do a giveaway in the future. I did do one of these showing my whole nail polish collection, and that was also a really long video, but it was really well received by you, so I wanted to do something like this again. And this has been out on my floor for far too long. It gives me anxiety walking in the room, seeing it all laid out. Like, it, the first two days, it was, like, really beautiful. And then after that, I'm like, I need to do this. All right, let's flip you around and get started. This is just insane, but this is like years of collecting and hoarding, never getting rid of anything at all. I had most of this stored like in my unused basket. This is like all stuff that's like new and untouched thus far. That's more like makeup-y stuff or skincare over there right now. I took out all the lipsticks and then I had another bin where I had lip glosses in here and then I had this drawer where I had created little dividers in these old like glossy box boxes. Remember when they used to send out boxes? And I had them standing up so I could read each of the labels. So I left some of them in here so you can get an idea, but I had this whole drawer stuff filled. So let's start off with these. These are super affordable. They're the Wet n Wild lipsticks. I used to love this one here called Clothing Optional. Again, a lot of these may be super old and not even on the market anymore. Like this one's pretty smushed. I need to move along with that one. But I do really love this bright orange color. But that, it's looking a little crusty on the outside. I've noticed that I've opened a couple of the lipsticks and they had like white mold growing on them. And that is like disgusting so i've straight up just thrown those out i haven't gone through this pile here but i have gone through those i've already checked and those are good to go but yeah i'm gonna go through here let's see i'm gonna probably pass oh i really love this one you can see that i definitely love this and maybe had it in my bag and left it in the car for too long being out here in arizona it's kind of hard to keep anything in the car this is called think pink Ooh, I liked this one and clothing optional. I feel like those were my two favorites. And you'll see that as a theme is I'll own a lot of fun bright colors because I think it's going to look great on me. And usually they look half decent, but my comfort level is definitely more like nude shades. I think I'm going to hold on to these, but only to scan into like the Walmart app to see if maybe I can get new fresh ones of them. And I think I'm just going to get rid of those ones. Um, we have some old Maybellines up here. Another beautiful bright coral lustery orange. This one's so pretty. Let me show you this here. And another thing, I get a lot of this on sale or clearance and then use coupons. Or like if I got it at CVS, I use the ECBs. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I like that one. I'm definitely going to hold on to this. Because I've been totally digging this like vibrant -y orange shade for summer. So I'm going to put that one back. Um, remember when these were a big thing? Again, I don't know if they're still out or not. But I did really like this. I used it quite a bit. I kept this in my little pouch when I was serving. So I do want to see if I can get another one of those. So I'll put that on my little like wish list over here. And as we go, I might find something over here that's very similar. And then, for you know, take these out of the pile kind of thing. This shade, I remember specifically driving to like three different Walgreens or whatever to find it. I wanted this so bad. I love the packaging on these lip bar lipsticks. I have a bright, bright red shade and then a more purpley shade. I did do an Instagram post of these at back in the day and I thought it was just so creamy and so pretty. I really like these Neutrogena sticks. Actually, I keep a Neutrogena gloss in my purse so these were the ones that i pulled out of like my bags my purses my backpack for school and things like that the hot lacquer from maybelline and the shade tees morphe lip gloss in boho love this so much ciate this is a newer edition because i got this in i think my ipsy bag or something like that in wildfire and then this jlo lipstick in 370 is so pretty and so comfortable to wear it actually goes on more like a balm than a lipstick 
really like that. I've definitely put a decent dent in that. I like keeping that in my bag or even in my pocket in my scrubs at school so I can reapply that without needing a mirror. Then I have the Morphe lipstick in Flirt. This is a beautiful nude shade. I bought this when I was in Vegas and I wore this nonstop. As you see, I only apply it not from the end side, but the back side. How oh, I'm so weird when it comes to packaging and things like that. Oh, but this was the Neutrogena I brought you over here to see. I originally liked these moisture sticks, but then I found the Hydra Boost Hydrating Lip Shine and I like these a little bit better. They go on really smooth. It feels really good on the lip. I also really like the shade of this CoverGirl Melting Pout. This one's called Nudist Dream and it's so pretty. I could only find this at Walgreens every once in a while, but now I found it at like a couple of different CVSs I go to. So remember when these were a thing? All of these like squeezy tube lip glosses. Is this still a thing? Is it coming back in style? These are so old. I need to get rid of them. We have some super old Rimmels over here that I just need to get rid of. And these CoverGirl, oh my gosh, this is so nostalgic for me because I did a review on my blog. Like before my YouTube was really a thing, I did a whole review and swatch and lip swatches of these lipsticks. Oh, I'm going to have to link that down below because it was so cheesy and so back in the day, but it's where I started. These are, oh my gosh, again, ancient. They probably just got to go. They're stains. I feel like stains had a moment. And right now, I feel like the market has gone more towards like balms and shines. Like, I feel like it went to stains, to more mattes, to more like glossy things. That's why I kind of really like the Morphe and the hot lacquer and things like that. Like I'll put this on, this isn't glossy, but I'll apply this, let it dry, and then put the Morphe on top, that kind of a deal. Oh, that is crusty and old. I'm pretty sure I moved to Arizona with this cover curl lipstick here. Oh my gosh, and I would never wear a color like that. What was I thinking? These Almays feel really nice. Ooh, this Finding Ferdinand is really fun. This was, was this in an Ipsy Plus box? Where I get things, but this here is an absolute gorgeous shade. It's perfect for me. I believe I did a Instagram post on it or wore it in a video because of just how pretty it is. And like I was saying before, I don't really have a comfort level with colors, but this one definitely made me feel really pretty. We have some Flower Beauty. I don't remember particularly liking this or not liking it, so it's just kind of like an eh kind of thing. I did do a whole video review of these Makeup Forever Dual Ended Smudge kind of sculpting lip pens. Some Mana Kadars, Hikari. Oh, remember when Unique was kind of a thing? And this is very similar to the Benefit. Oh, what is that called? Benefit has one like it. Sort of like these, like the Benetint, because this one's called Lolly Tint, but it's the same idea. It's like more of a, a stain. These are so fun. They are super pigmented, but not as opaque as I would like them to be. You definitely have to be really careful because they are very velvety and creamy. So when you apply them, you just have to go like one or two swipes and not mess with it too much. Just be confident in the color that it comes out in. And then there's like a pretty shimmery shine one. And then a couple of really fun colors over here. I just keep these for doing like funky looks. I really did not like these Makeup Forever lip glosses. I bought them in a duo on a clearance sale at Sephora or something like that. So, so, so sticky. We have some Laura Geller. Those just feel very like natural. Are they in mineral makeup? Because that's the vibe I get when I use anything from Laura Geller. I like some Pacifica, those are really smooth. I love the formula for this Smashbox one. I wanna say that it came in a subscription box. This is in the shade Always On. It's a little brown for me, but the formula is beautiful. So, so comfortable and stays on for like forever. We have some Meat Matte Hues. I have a couple little minis and things like that. Beauty For Real, these are cool because they have the light up bottles and a little mirror. I don't think I've ever tried this hourglass, but I really want to. I got this at a Generation Beauty and I just haven't popped it open because it is like a very bright red shade. And I feel like I need the proper occasion to be able to rock this appropriately. Ooh, this Deuce lipstick, I definitely wore this for a hot minute there. You can see that's definitely been worn down quite a bit. That That is in the shade 813. 
No, that was really comfortable. That kind of gives me vibes of the Maybelline, the JLo one I was telling you about, that it feels more of like a balm lipstick. And those are the type I like. I like some good color, but I need it to be comfortable at the same time. That is something I struggle with with these really matte lipsticks from ColourPop. They're beautiful, but they're so dry. And I just, I can't wear those in, in longevity for too long, you know? Uh, we have some Jordana. Remember when Jordana, is that like even a thing anymore? Or they like go out of business or something? I only own one Anastasia lipstick. And it is in the shade Pure Hollywood. Of course, a very nude. But I don't wear it a ton. Even though it's my jam, it's very dry. And I get the lines on my lips. I have to top it off with a gloss. Ooh, I have a bunch of Tristique. This is kind of like their whole line that I have. Or what I mean is like what I have of them. This one's totally matte. And I did purchase this one on my own at a Generation Beauty. I think this is called Nantucket Nude. And this is super pretty. But it is definitely very dry, but that's why they include on the opposite end. And that's the cool thing about Tristeek, is that they usually have dual-ended things. And the other side has a balm, so you can feel more comfortable with wearing your matte lipstick throughout the day. Gosh, these are old. I want to say I bought these in New York, too. And mind you, I lived in New York like 12 years ago. That is so embarrassing. We have some Ulta lipsticks. I don't pull for these. I want to say that they came in. Look, I don't think I've ever even used this. Oh, that's so sad. But I, I think I bought one of those kits that you get at the holidays. And then it kind of like came with the lipsticks. Oh, here's some lip scents. I have to be in the mood to wear these. Because I have to be prepared to wear the same color all day. And to keep touching up with the lip gloss. So I do find myself not pulling for these two super often, but they work. And the shades that I have are Pink Champagne and Cappuccino. Galani, I don't think I've actually ever put these on, maybe? Let's see. Oh, it was just very brown, now I remember. But it was really soft and creamy, and I wanted to try more from them. But the other colors I have just aren't ones that I would wear too regularly. Like, oh, I smooshed that one. It's bright red. The packaging is really nice. It's like got a good weight to it. And then this one's very brown, like a burnt brick color. We have some Mary Kay down here at the bottom. Oh, M Cosmetics. Look at this pretty color. It's a pretty pinky purple tone, like a cool pink. Is she even around anymore? I don't even know. I do like this Note lip gloss in the shade Matte Moist Lipstick. This is a really pretty tone. It reminds me a lot of my Morphe. It's very similar. This one's a little more brown. Morphe's a little more pink. Actually, I'm going to start playing with that a little bit more. Check out the Milani. I think I have a gloss and a lipstick. Um, again, these get really, really matte and dry on me. And then these are those metallics that everybody was wearing and talking about for a good while there. I drove all around town trying to find them. And I barely wear them just because they're so much of a statement when you wear like metallics on your lips because they're like a matte metallic. They're not even shimmery, shiny, glossy. Um, Ofra's are a lot more comfortable to wear their liquid lips than my Anastasia one, to be honest. I do really like the Ofra and I like their new packaging where it's got like the white. These were the old packaging. Check that out, Ofra. See, I've been a fan of you guys from way back in the day. We got some Victoria's Secret stuff down here, and honestly, these are just junk to me. I mean, they're good little stocking stuffers, or like for a teen, or like somebody getting into makeup, but they're not for my everyday makeup wear. And remember when they had makeup makeup? I got this one in the shade Wish, and it was a pretty nudie pink. Does Sally Hansen still make makeup or lip glosses or anything like that? These are so old. These have got to go. Oh, Studio Gear. I do love these liquid lipsticks. They are a little dark, so I, again, have to be, like, in the mood to wear them, but they're so pretty. Oh, this one's a gloss, actually, but these are liquid lips. These are some of their lipsticks. I need to go through and just look at the colors and see if they're ones that I want to hold on to, so I'll kind of give you a look at the one here. Oh, this one's got, like, a pretty pinky purple tone to it. I have a bunch still over here. Those first two rows are also studio gear. Pop Beauty. I really have not enjoyed anything from Pop. I want to say this was a pretty color, but it wasn't really too comfortable to wear. 
Uh, we have some Rimmel. I love these glossy glosses. There's one called Norchester, is it? What it is it this one? This one's my favorite. It's a nude pink, but it doesn't really come off on the lips. It's kind of very see-through. This one's similar called Nonstop Glam. So if you need just something as a little topper with a tiny bit of shimmer, but not glitter, these are really good. We have some Flirt. This was a really fun color. I got this at Generation Beauty. It's called Bay, so I kept it in the box, but I have worn that before. These had a moment too. These these liquid paints for um, your lips. There's one from Jcat and two from Obsessive Compulsive. I don't really ever touch these, but it would take a lifetime to go through them because they're so pigmented, so opaque, which is the tiniest, tiniest amount. Jouer has some really pretty lip glosses and lipsticks. This one's in the shade Peony. I really like that one. That's probably the one that I wear the most because it's not super opaque, but you get the little hint of the color on your lips. Um, these Be A Bombshells, they're okay. I don't find myself pulling for them too much, but I will likely hold on to them. This was a birthday gift from Ulta. What was it? This year or last year? No, last year, not this year. This year was two eyeshadows. Now to these Maybellines. I do have more Maybelline down on the other side there, but these Maybellines here are my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna take a moment to run through these with you. Look at me getting creative here using the box. So these two up front ones, I don't wear a ton, but I'll kind of use them as toppers. They have a shimmery undertone to them. Definitely more your destiny shimmery and there's the names and numbers there and then this one is really fun because it's a gloss and it comes in the really shiny packaging this one's really comfortable to wear i don't need a mirror to check it out and that is the 050 one uh, again these are all maybellines this one here i have worn to death and i even purchased a backup already this is in the shade let me show you like it is almost gone 545 beige babe Love this one. I've probably talked about it like a million times too. Beige 915. I really like that one. And this one's more pink. I actually wore this one today. This one's relatively new to me. Peach Buff 540. And then we have the Purely Nude 535. So these two right here are going to be my ultimate, ultimate favorites. No, maybe I like this one too. And this one. I don't know. Maybe I just love them all <laughs> for different reasons. This one is really, really light though. So this is great for using in the middle of the lip. So if I apply this all over, put a tiny bit of this light, light one in the center to give you like that ombre, more like plump full lip look. Next up, let's talk about Tattoo Junkie. They sent me a bunch of stuff to review and I'm just so behind on getting this up, but they have these matte lipstick sparkle kits that I thought was so cute and it has a nude shade which also came in a pack that has like a bunch of little minis. This is the matte mini. And I've used these on and off, mixing them in with other colors, like on a palette to kind of make new colors. But they're really cute and pretty. Actually, I used these two in a rose lip that I did for a contest entry for my school that I posted on my Instagram. I'll see if I'll remember to link it down below because it was really pretty. And I would love the support on that because I hope I win. It was really fun. We have some angel dust, which is really sparkly shimmery. And then more metallic ones. I have not played with these just yet. I'm behind on the times of even using this just because I feel like I'm one of those people that unless I can give new stuff like the time of day to dedicate like full attention to them, I don't want to like open it and like ruin the experience for myself by rushing through. So I then I always end up going back to my no fail favorites and I don't like try other things. Maybe that's where I'm like a terrible blogger sometimes. These little rock ones were my favorite for a really t long time. This one in particular is called Socialite. This one's really pretty. It's like a glossy lipstick because it stays on pretty good, but it has a decent amount of color, but it's definitely more shimmery or I'm sorry, shiny. I have this Marc Jacobs one. I think that came in like a little birthday set. This one was a YSL one that came from Influencer, I think, and it is a hot, hot red, like super bright with a blue undertone and it's super pretty but i really just love the packaging on that so i usually have it out on like a little shelf for display i do like the Too faced lip injection you can see it's like tainted with like a brown color from putting it over my nude lip glosses or lipsticks oh i'm like out of breath talking about all this 
stuff. And then we have Tarte. I have just about everything from their liquid paints to, I don't even know if these are still in style. The very minty, like, pencil-y sticks and things like that. And then this, I think, is another lip paint here. They're okay. They're not my go-to favorites, but, uh, yeah, they're not bad. I'm not gonna get rid of them. Oh, and then some more of the Tattoo Chunky. See, I want to play with these glittery glosses. That sounds so fun. A bunch of Studio Gear lip liners. We have some Essence. These are really pretty colors. These are great for on a budget. They're not the best. They're not the most colorful. They're really like soft, gentle colors that you can build up. So if you are on a budget, these are a really great option because they don't dry out your lips, I don't feel like. Oh, Laritzi! I am so excited to try this out because they sent me some lip glosses, it looks like, a lip pencil, and then what are those? Ooh, light sticks? Are those? Oh, they're probably highlighters. How cool. Okay, I definitely want to go through that and maybe do a dedicated video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in seeing something like that. Let's go over here to Pixie. I love Pixie. I love that they are more of a clean brand. They're more natural. The colors are an array of like pink to hot orange to more mauve to reds and deep burgundies. And all of their collections I feel like are like that. They have full ranges. I love this lip gloss. It is a little bit sticky, but just perfectly enough that it stays put and doesn't annoy the crap out of you that you have to reapply all the time. This one's called Honey Sheen. And then we have Bare Minerals. I love these Gen Nude lipsticks. They're so comfortable and creamy. I have a lot of the more natural nude shades. I do like their lip glosses. There's one lip gloss. Where is it? Oh, over here. Okay, this is so expired and so old, and I'm surprised if there's anything left in the tube other than, like, what's on the side of it. I also kept in my serving pouch because it was just such a beautiful shade. It's Forbidden Nude. I definitely want to buy this in a full size. I'm going to put that in that little area over here so I remember to look that up online and wait for, like, a 20% off deal or something like that. That's how much I love it so much. Oh, and I've really been wanting to try this. I've been meaning to pull for it. It's the Pillow Plump from Soap and & Glory. And I've been wanting to try this so bad because it's supposed to really, like, do what it says. Plump up your lips and give you nice pouty things. I think that came in a Target box. And then we have e.l.f. I love e.l.f. Can you tell? Some of this was sent PR. Most of it I bought myself. <laughs> just have a problem when it comes to elf and i want all of their lip glosses there's one called pink cosmo that my sd bessie wears and it looks so pretty on her but i keep telling myself i don't need any more these lip glosses are the best this one's in the shade nude kiss that one's my favorite i do also like the one that they did in collaboration with some youtubers and beauty bloggers called the modern metals collection there's some eyeshadows and face products and things like that i talked about it on my instagram this one's really really pretty i don't wear this color a lot but these two i think it came with this gloss or maybe this came in the collection before it i love this gloss i would say this is comparable to the one in pixie let's put them side by side i don't think i've done pixie one is the chloe morello one and i've talked this one to death this is lip icing and cake and then this one here is oh it is the modern metals lip gloss and they're very similar but at the same time the elf one is more glitter whereas the pixie one is more of a fine iridescence so two totally different lip toppers and i love them so much because you can totally change the look of your lipstick or uncomfortable matte lipsticks by using glosses like that. Oh, and then we have some Cover Girls. I really like the O Sugars. Those are really comfortable. Another Melting Pout Matte. This is in the shade Current Nude. So I had to get the other one just to clarify for myself. One is the Vinyl Vow, and that's the nudist dream one. And then this one's a Melting Pout, and this one is in Current Nude. So everything's nude. I'm surprised that wasn't in my purse because I do use that one quite a bit. I probably had it on my desktop right in front of me. We have some LA Girl lip glazes. Uh, again, I went all over when those first came out. I had to have them, and then I don't really wear them too much. They're very gloopy, very pigmented, but a little heavy on the lips. And then there is a local shop called Bella by Leah, and she creates all of these on her own. Like, she made her own makeup line and her own skincare line. I'll put a link to her shop down below. It's really fascinating. And I love shopping local. This one's so pretty. I wore this one in one of my FabFitFun unboxing videos. I think the winter one. 
and everyone was going gaga for it. We have some ancient Revlons back there. I probably just need to chuck all of them. I don't think any of them are relatively new in the last year or so. Well, maybe this last one. And I think that lipstick, maybe? Um, oh, you've seen me use this L'Oreal in our new chocolate tutorial. The balm is so comfortable. That's another one I'm surprised that I don't have it in my purse because of how comfy it is, 818. These I love so much and the packaging is so pretty. This is from L'Oreal, super comfortable. You do need a mirror for these darker ones because even though it's like balmy, you don't want to like get outside the lines. It kind of looks funky. More Wet n Wild, holy crap, these are old. I wore this one to death. This is the Fergie line. Oh, these are newer. See, not everything's ancient that I have. We have some more Fergie right next door that I'm gonna have to get rid of because those are pretty old. And then we have NYX back here. Super vibrant colors in the butter glosses. And then <laughs> all the ones that are more me, more wearable everyday butter glosses. A liquid suede. I did use, remember how I was saying how that rose uh, lip art entry that I did for school? This I used as my base for the gray. Oh, some baby dolls. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I bought this when Megan Lee was Chow Bella, like way back in the day. And this, I, I'm gonna say it's our jam. Like I thought she was my best friend and she's never met or talked to me in my life. But I just thought that this was the most prettiest color on her. And I was like, I wanna be just like her. This is Sugar Pie from NYX. I don't even know if this is made anymore. This is so freaking old, but it is like a creamy, glossy nude totally conceals out your lips like gives you concealer the mouth but i loved it for the longest time i'm surprised there's even anything in the tube but that's got to go i'm gonna have to get a replacement of that one too we have some new things back here i really want to try out this physician's formula i haven't popped into that Ooh, that looks like it's a duplicate of my favorite gloss over here that i was telling you about we have some backups of the NYX, a Koki one. I haven't tried anything from Koki, have you? And then Buxom. Did I talk about Buxom? Where's Buxom? Where's my Buxoms? Oh, there they are. I love my Buxom glosses. Oh my gosh, so comfortable. Definitely plumping. If you don't like feeling the tingle, don't use these. They are so good. I don't mind it. I love it so much. My absolute favorite is White Russian, and this was gifted to me at Generation Beauty. So sweet. And I'm not saying this because it was gifted to me. They have no idea who I am. But I just figured, actually, I think I bought this one. I bought this one, and this is the one that they gifted to me when I was talking to them in the line. And they were so sweet. And there's a little backup, and then they have lipsticks and stuff too. But I figured I'd share that real quick because I was like, what? I didn't even talk about them. I'm sure there is others that I'm skipping over, editing out all of that goodness. So if there's something that you wanna hear specifically about, oh, I forgot to even mention those. I mean, I've talked about them on Instagram and on here on videos and stuff before. So I kind of glazed over stuff like that, but this is it. I'm getting rid of so much. I need to go through and just pull as we go. Oh, this is a really pretty one from JCat. Ooh. I want to try that on tonight, but I'm doing like a shop my stash kind of thing, getting rid of the old ones like these. I probably bought these for like 50 cents or something like that, and they're just super old, and I just need to replace them with new ones and be okay with getting rid of the old things like this, like these guts to go. Or the one that is so crazy worn down, I don't even remember the name of it, but I wore this so much that I did a whole dedicated video to it way back in the day like it was one of my first videos i'll link to it up in the cards or down below so you can watch it and kind of cringe with me but wow i have to get rid of it but it is so like bringing back memories of the beginning and where i started and now here we are <laughs> very cool all right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about videos like this and like looking over my stash and decluttering and getting rid of the things that are holding us back in life in the comments down below it's gonna feel so good to get this cleaned up and hopefully have this drawer back under control where i'll actually have room for growth or be able to see it all nice and organized and not just thrown in like a massive pile how do you organize your lipsticks i'd be interested in seeing that feel free to tag me in a photo if you have one posted 
and I will see you in my next video. Bye.